Good afternoon, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your Tauror Rear today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Pisces, this is going to be your weekly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Pisces, let's uh, let's do three shuffles and then we'll get right into it. So today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck, the Spirit of the Wheel Meditation deck, and these ruins that I have right beside me. So let's do one more shuffle and then we'll divide up the deck and see what you guys got. All right, it's cool, cool, cool. Here we go, boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna start from the middle this time. All right, so Pisces at the bottom of the deck, you have the Devil card. So you could be dealing with some addictions this week or a toxic connection. Um, or you may be finding out about a toxic connection or, you know, about someone's addiction. Uh, but, or this just could mean that there's a very important Capricorn in your life, all right? But either way, let's see what you got. So you have the Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands reversed, and the Seven of Wands in the upright. You also have the Fool card reversed and the Page of Swords. So during this time, I don't. It doesn't seem like you're very open for a relationship, or if you are open to a relationship, you're very like, you want a very closed off relationship. Like no one else can know about this. Like, you know. But for other than that, you are very single, and you because maybe in the past you have had some options, and it made you feel foolish or like. Maybe people have played you before and, you know, made you feel foolish or, and, you know, now you're just like, you know what, I'm closing myself from, you know, off of these, um, people, you're, you know, you're closing yourself off, you're staying sing single, and you're doing what's best for you. Um, it does seem like you're preparing for something, maybe there's some type of, um, thought process maybe you're you're thinking too much in your head this week and that could be where these options are coming from maybe you feel like someone has a lot of options and that could be where the capricorn uh, the devil card comes in where they are you know maybe in the past they were a bit of a player or maybe you feel like this person's a player and they're just going to make you feel like you know a fool like a clown like you just um aren't worth putting effort into um so maybe you're preparing for you know some communication with this person um maybe confrontation maybe a you know some toxic behavior um because you're you're putting yourself down you're putting yourself in that predicament where um your thought process is getting getting the best of you but with the Page of Swords here, it does tell me that it's something brand new. Like it's, um, it hasn't been in your in your head for a while now. It's definitely like something that just appeared, like either last week or this week, um, and you just started thinking about it. But don't let it really get the best of you, because if you think too much about it, then you're just going to manifest it into exist into your existence, and then you're just going to be. Uh, become what you don't want to become and that's not what you want all right so let's check out your ruins all right so you have the strength ruin you have red flag signals and uh, possessions so you could be really focused on your money during this time or just like paying attention to any red flags that may be appearing this week for you. Like if you feel like someone does have a lot of options and they're texting other people, talk to them about this. Um, because you don't want to, no one should be feeling foolish about being in a relationship because a relationship is, you know, something that's very important. And, you know, a lot of people take advantage of that and just use that person for sex or like a booty call or whatever, you know, and, you know, Everyone is human. We all have feelings. We all go through stuff. And, you know, you want a true relationship that isn't going to be just, 
a booty call thing, right? And I see you really working on yourself because you have the self ruin here. So you may be cutting yourself off from relationships if you aren't already in one and just focusing on yourself, doing what's best for you, get, getting stronger, focusing, you know, maybe you're really, you're really focused during this time, whether it's on your thoughts or, you know, on yourself, it, you're really focused right now and you don't want anything to do with you know third party situations um illusions uh, options you know you're just you're done with it you know you're tired you're tired of looking foolish which is good you know no one should be proud because they look foolish you know <laughs> you look foolish for a reason right um and if it was in the upright then i would say you're taking a leap of faith towards one of your options but because it's in reverse it's uh it means foolish so let's see what other cards you guys got so you have the sun card here so there could be some new starts happening for you you also have the page of wands the queen of pentacles in reverse and then you have the hanged man so you may be feeling a bit stuck after having you know being in your head a little bit or not sure if you're wanting to take action towards one of these options. Maybe someone confronts you, tells you that they feel a certain way, but just be careful because all you're getting is a bunch of pages. You're not getting any queens. Like this is a queen, but she's in reverse. And I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. Um, she's in reverse, so she's not technically a queen yet. Um, she still needs to work on herself, and that could be you really focusing on yourself. And, you know, because right now you don't feel the worth, you don't feel loved up, you don't feel like you're worth it. And you are Pisces, it's just going to take some time. And, you know, you just got to really work on yourself and do that inner healing. So that way you can um, get this new start that you've been wanting, whether it's with this person or with someone completely different. Uh, you do have a lot of fire here. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, or you may have Aries in your chart. But either way, um, if if you are closed off to relationships, I see you having a new thought process very soon. Um, because for a while, maybe you were a bit stuck. You weren't really wanting a relationship. And now someone finally confronts you. And they're just like, hey, do you want to go out? You're, pretty, you're really cute. And it kind of boosts your self-confidence. And you're just like, should I do it? Should I not do it? I don't want to look foolish. Um, you know, I haven't dated in the while, in a while. What should I do here? And that's kind of your thought process during this time. Um, but either way, there will be some sort of new start, which is great. You also have the four of swords, the hermit in reverse, and the ten of pentacles in reverse. So that tells me that you're needing to make a decision. Um, but you may be uh, not you may be not listening to your intuition on this. So uh, really listen to your intuition. You may be feeling a bit lost, and that could be where I was getting illusions because usually when I say illusions, it's usually the Seven of Cups in reverse. But I was getting illusions with uh, the Seven of Cups in the upright. So uh, I'm actually glad that the Hermit came up. Because in reverse, the hermit means feeling lost, not sure what to do. Um, maybe something broke your foundation in the past. And um, maybe an ex is coming forward towards you. And you're just like, um, should I go towards it? You know, they broke my heart in the past, but they said they changed. They didn't change. All right. If, if you don't listen to your intuition on this, they're just going to break your heart again and put you back into another cycle and it could be disastrous all over again and you don't if especially if you've done the healing process and you've really worked on yourself uh during this week or like the past weeks it's really going to when you go into this relationship it's going to make that whole process like worth nothing and you're going to have to do the whole process over again so pisces Listen to your intuition this time. Get some clarity. You know, focus on your third eye and, you know, your crown chakra because those are really needing to be, you know, brightened during this time. You know, they got to, 
you got to be able to open those chakras in order to really listen to your intuition because your third eye is going to show you everything that you need to see and then your crown chakra is going to you know get bring those messages that you need to hear uh to you so that's why those two those two chakras are very important to you um those are one of your those are two of your most important chakras um even though all of your chakras are very important they all uh, represent you know something in in the human body and you know like if you have a closed you know throat chakra you won't be able to speak or you would have a hard time speaking so that's why really speaking a lot and talking a lot is really going to help your throat chakra really you know come to life again um but then you got an overactive throat chakra which is you know when you talk too much and you're just rambling on and not really uh you know making sense about a situation but either way that's going to be your reading oh wait a second wait a second hold up hold up <laughs> i forgot about your spirit of the wheel meditation deck so i apologize let's get right into it all right so pisces let's see what you got for advice cards let's see what you got for advice cards pisces 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 all right here we go one more shuffle, one more shuffle. All right, cool, cool, cool. So you got direction, illumination, and active growth. So you've done a lot of growth. You're really growing as a person, and you got to really follow your direction, you know. Really listen to your intuition during this time because it's going to show you the path that you should be taking, not the one that you may be leaning towards. So just be careful during this time. Um, and this is also father son, so this could be the father of your child coming back in, wanting to be a part of your life. Uh, maybe there was a broken foundation, like I said before, when uh, the family just broke apart. They just, you know, maybe you have a fire son, and or not, not you. Like your son is a fire sign. Um, sorry about that. Um, or you could be a fire sign if uh, you're watching this for a Pisces, uh, maybe your baby daddy is a Pisces, and, you know, whatever it is, you know, you know, but either way, you have love, partnerships, unconditional love, and rejuvenation, so if you do get back together with this person, make sure that there is love, that there is compassion, like, you know, that there is passion in the relationship, right, um, because, I feel like there's going to be a, re a new spark that sparks up, but just pay attention to the red flags because if there's any red flags, you don't want to be a part of that, all right? That means that they didn't change, that they didn't, you know, say what they said before, you know, they basically lied to you, and all that stuff's going to repeat itself. Just be patient when you're deciding on what option you want to go towards because one of your options may be very good and then another may be very bad so just be careful on which option you do choose because it can either work very good for you or it can be disastrous like last time so be careful on which decision you choose to go towards and it will you know work out and the week will be amazing for you so pisces that's going to be your weekly reading i hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really do appreciate it namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you'd like to follow me on instagram and twitter the links will be down in the description below if you want to check out any of my other videos on my channel you can hit that channel button and it will take you to uh, a whole bunch of videos um that i've done over the past year and uh you can also hit that pop-up video and it'll take you to another one of my videos that YouTube recommends for you guys. Um, but either way, I'll see you guys next time.